hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is joshua matthew if you are old yet thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a short flyer using photoshop so before any further ado let's get started then go to your file select new then here i'm going to use 2000 pesos by 2000 pesos so now leave the resolution at 300 then you click on grids so this is our background canvas then i'm going to bring in my test now so Copy this color code, Ctrl plus C to copy, go to your gradient tools, then you click here, select this color over here, then you paste the one you copy, then you click OK. Now click over here, then you copy this color code, Ctrl plus C, then you select here, then Ctrl plus V to paste then click this one on the top here then increase the opacity to 100 percent okay then you will see 43 here then select this color here and bring this one back then you will see 43 here then you click ok so this is our background then come over here to copy ctrl plus c then ctrl plus v to paste okay now come over here again to copy this one then ctrl j to duplicate this one then you bring it down Select your test tool, then Ctrl plus V to paste it. Then reduce the font size. Then select the select the two tests, apply vertical alignment, and use your arrow key then to move this one up. Then select this one. Now copy this color code here. Go to your font color. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Alright. Then duplicate this one again. Ctrl plus J, then you bring it down over here, then highlight it, come over here to copy this text, then Ctrl plus V to paste it, then change the font color to white, open the character spacing, I'm going to enter 880 and OK. Then reduce the size. It's OK like this. Ctrl plus A. Then apply vertical alignment to centralize it. Then Ctrl plus D to deselect. Okay, then select this one, duplicate it, then bring it down over here, select your test tool, highlight it, then I'm going to copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy, 
then control plus V to paste. So okay like this. Then apply vertical alignment. Ctrl plus D to deselect. Then copy this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your test tool. Then change the font color to white. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'll position it over here. Then come over to your test again to copy. Select your test tool. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then now I'm going to change this color. I mean the font here to this font here so i'll copy this font then go to your font here then you select the font then you paste the one you copy then this is it so now i'm going to increase the font size Okay, then come back to your test here, then I'm going to apply this layer style, select your drop shadow, then I'm going to use multiply, then leave the opacity at 18, then degree 90 your distance 5 then spread to and the size 9 then you click ok then right click copy the layer style then come over here right click then you paste it then apply the same thing here and apply the same thing here Okay, so now the next thing I'm going to do again then I will reduce the size then position it over here Reduce it a bit. Okay. Then before I move further, select this one. Then I'm going to bring this background. Then reduce the size. right click then click here create clipping mask so that is what we have now you can see it now now and before now and before okay then come back to your test again then copy this test here Select your test to then control plus V to paste. 
change the font color to black then position it here select the two apply vertical and horizontal alignment Then I'm going to reduce the size. Then apply particle and uh, horizontal alignment. Then Control plus D to deselect. Select your ellipse tool. Draw a perfect circle while holding down your shift key. Then apply this color. Then duplicate it, Ctrl plus J. Then hold down your Alt key. You change the background to white. Now import this image. Reduce the size. Then right click and create a clipping mask. So I'm going to copy this layer style here. Then select the first cycle. Then you paste the layer style. So you can see the shadow be behind. Then select this one. Duplicate it. Ctrl plus J. Then you move it over here. Delete this image. Then import this one, reduce the size, right click again. Then create a clipping mask. Okay. Then come back to this one. Copy the name. Ctrl plus C. Select your test tool. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate this one. Then drag it over here. Then you copy this test over here again. That is the name. Select your test tool. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Now group it together as you select it. Ctrl plus G to group it. Then Ctrl plus A to alight it. 
then apply vertical alignment control plus d to deselect control plus zero to fit the design to page i will also group this one okay now the next thing i'm going to copy the location control plus c then bring this icon Select your test tool, Ctrl plus V to paste, then select right alignment, then open this space there. drag it over here then you reduce the font size change the color to black and I'm going to draw a right angle Draw a line over here. Then I'm going to change the color to black. Then copy this one here, select your test tool again, Ctrl plus V to paste, position it over here, reduce the font size. Copy this one also. Select your test tool. Then Ctrl plus C V to paste. Then highlight this one. Then apply super script. Okay. Then close the character space a bit. Ten percent is okay. Increase the font size. Then go back to your test to copy this one. Select your test tool, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Reduce the font size. Then you position it over here.
then duplicate this one control plus j hold your shift key then drag it up here then copy it then duplicate this one control plus j then drag it over here Control plus V to paste. Now increase the size. Then come back again to copy this one. Select your test tool. Control plus V to paste. Then reduce the size. Then position it around the end. Control plus C to copy. Select your test tool. Control plus V to paste. Then change it to all cab. Reduce the font size. Position it over here. Control plus zero to fit it. Then select it all. Control plus G to group it. Control plus A to alight. Then apply vertical alignment, increase it a bit, then OK. Control plus zero. So now we are going back to background. Select your gradient tool, I mean your gradient background. Now Select this one, take it up, so I have blocked it already, so no need to block, the block is 5.0, so then change the blending mode to multiply. Then bring this one, then change the blending option to soft light. So, and the blur is 7.0. So, there is no need to blur it again because I have already blurred it. Then you bring this image. Then you leave it at this position. Then reduce the opacity to 33. But as I have done that before, so there is no need again, you leave it this way. Now bring this brush and 
then you bring it down then I'm going to increase this image then the location then select your test to then change it to medium select prompt then change it to medium it's okay the name here select your test to then apply semi bold the second name apply semi bold then bring this one down reduce this icon now position it around here then control a again apply vertical alignment then control plus d to deselect then group the background Use your arrow key to bring this one down. Then increase this one. Select the test. then increase it then bring this one down okay so this is the end of the design if you like it please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you will not miss another video which i'm about to upload thank you